Alright guys, welcome to this tutorial, film look challenge, okay, it's a film look challenge, so it's not a tutorial, it's more like a challenge, so in this challenge, I'm going to be attempting to color grade like Stranger Things, okay, so Stranger Things is a show on Netflix, so this show is about a group of kids who, um, well, you can go and read um, Google, you can Google it this show is set in the 1980s so as you can see like the way they dress in this show is all 1980s the 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 film score in this um film the music is all 1980s kind of vibe you know so it's a lot of techno stuff there like you know that kind of techno music and um as you can see everything is more like 1980s the cars the clothes they wear you know it's all kind of 1980s so if you want to color grade like this you have to make your film look more like you know a film camera as opposed to like a digital camera you have to make it look like a film camera because that was kind of the color grade that was I was getting from you know this film okay so this is just like basic honestly it's basic um color grading the only thing that differentiates this um color grade from a lot of other color grades is actually it's nothing there's nothing that differentiates this from a lot of other movies but the thing is like the stuff that the, the clothes they wear the music in the in this series the places like the things like you know like Nintendo like stuff that was there in the 1980s you know so it just gives you that 1980s vibe that nostalgia for people who were you know who were teenagers around that time so that's what this kind of gives off you know so as for me I do weddings as you know by now if you watch this series that I do I do weddings so I only color grade wedding films okay so I'm gonna be I have some clips here from a wedding that I did okay I have some clips here from a wedding that I did so I'm going to be attempting to color grade these wedding clips kind of like um stranger things okay so as you can see we already have the adjustment layer placed on top of these clips if you don't know how to get the adjustment layer on your clips i suggest you watch uh okay you know what fuck it just gonna show you so what you do is you go in your project window which is hold on here you go in your project window in your project window you go on an empty space you right click and then you bring up your um you right click and on options new item and then adjustment layer and then you bring up the adjustment layer comes up okay and then you drag it to your on top of your clips and then of course you you know you make it bigger or however you want to say it so let's just delete the old one here so that's for you guys who don't want to do your research that's how i get to that part okay let me just uh, maximize the clips a little bit here there we go and just yeah we don't really care about the audio right because it's all about the video so um yeah so what i'm gonna do now is let me bring this uh lumetriscopes back here in this grade today i'm just gonna be i'm gonna have that open so maybe i can explain a little bit about what's going on here for you guys who are kind of like new to grading and you don't know what all this here means i'll just have it open and as i go through the clips and the explaining what i'm doing i'll also be explaining what's going on right here okay guys so we're gonna only grade the adjustment layer and after we grade the adjustment layer 
we're gonna go to individual clips and grade those clips and just adjust the highlights and the shadows and the blacks and the whites and stuff like that sometimes even saturation or whatever but what you want to do first is you want to grade your adjustment layer okay or if you have lots of course you put the lots on your adjustment layer okay so there we go okay so um where we're gonna start okay so like i said i'm not gonna go ex i'm not gonna grade exactly like um this uh this series here what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna i'm gonna just make my um wedding film here look retro okay i'm gonna make it look like 1980s okay i'm gonna give it that 1980s look okay so that's gonna be the challenge for today so let me see hold on netflix is tripping on me reset here okay okay so here's what i'm gonna do here's what i'm gonna do so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna start with uh let's get, let's choose a clip i, I kind of want to want one where they're both okay this is good so we're gonna kind of grade on top of this um clip here with the bride and her mom so i just met layer chosen so what I'm going to do is let's start the grading here. Okay, so you open up Lumetri Color. If you don't know how to go to Lumetri Color, you go on Window and then you choose Lumetri Color. Okay, so Lumetri Color. So you see how my um, Premiere Pro is laid out here. You can move this to your liking. You can put them wherever you want to put them okay me i like to be able to adjust these things here i like to undock them from being all together kind of like how final cut is everything is together you can't undock anything in final cut pro i don't know about the new version but um the previous versions you can't undock um individual uh, parts of the software okay but in Premiere Pro, the good thing about Premiere Pro is you can undock anything here. You know, you can un, you know, undock the panels. Okay, so I like to undock the different panels so I can resize them, adjust them, throw them where I want to throw them. So the way I have it laid out here is usually how I have it laid out when I'm actually editing anything in Premiere Pro. And I like to make this like that. The reason why I have it here is so I can refer back to Stranger Things, okay? So let's start. So we wanna just make it look retro. We're not gonna really go with this. We're just gonna make it look retro according to my eye, of course. Color grading is subjective. However you wanna do it, there's no right way or wrong way. It's just whatever is pleasing to your eye, okay? It's like a painting, it's like art, it's whatever the colorist wants it to look like. So I'm going to try and make it look like um, like 1980s, according to me. OK, this is according to me. It's not according to Peter McKinnon. It's not according to Casey Neistat. It's according to Francis. OK, so let's go. So we're going to start with the temperature. OK, go in some. That's kind of we'll leave it there for now. This just a pinch exposure like okay so here's what i was talking about so you don't want to go you don't want your colors to hit 255 you don't want them to hit 255 because that means it's overexposed um your highlights are overexposed and you don't want them to hit zero that means it's underexposed or it's too much blacks there's a lot of blacks and if it goes up here it's a lot of whites or the highlights so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring that the exposure down right off the 255 there is good right there is good and it's not touching the bottom so it's good it's 
rightly exposed okay so that's good so yeah and then now we're gonna go to the contrast that's good as long as you keep them between the 0 and 55 anyway here is kind of good depending on your eye of course highlights that's good for now but this is just on this clip if it goes here we might be overexposed so we'll address this clip by itself so that's why I chose this clip because it was rightly graded okay not graded it was rightly exposed okay so next thing we do now is uh, we're gonna go to uh, hold on what's going on here is we're gonna go to right there okay so what we're gonna do is um, we highlights shadows I like going down on the shadows just not too much I like going down some of the shadows and then whites go down some see the lead the going down from being too overexposed to just right blacks see when they go down on zero it means it's underexposed it's not rightly it's not it's underexposed it's just it's not rightly exposed so you want to get off that zero right there is good but of course like i said color grading is, is um subjective and you can grade it how your eye sees fit so what i'm going to do here now is I'm gonna go to saturation just a little bit just a pinch 106 is good okay so I want to make this look retro so I'll add a lot of fade in here probably 30 is good yeah 30 is good okay vibrant vibrance a little bit yeah right there is good and then here I don't really like touching the highlight tint I like touching the shadow tint okay what we're gonna do we don't want to go to green I like that though I want to go warm yeah that's that looks 1980s just kidding we're getting there okay we go to the curve here I don't really want to touch this because there's no color that I want to make pop so I'll leave as is but if you want you can you know go to these individual colors if you wanna if there's something with that color in the frame that you wanna make pop but it's not gonna work with all the clips so maybe probably some red just a little bit see if we go like that see their lips Every, anything that's red there kind of you know get takes a hit so we'll probably go down okay uh, we'll do this for now just a little bit we can come back to this so as far as any of these other colors I really don't want any of them to pop maybe the wall back there uh, just a little like that okay um, color match color wheels again you I, I like touching I don't like the highlights so the mid tones right now I don't like touching the highlights too much on these um, individuals mid tones let's see for the skin here and all the other mid tones Okay, I'm trying to give it that 1980s vibe here. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Shadows. Um, let me see. I want to stay more in the orange. Okay, that's good. Here, I really don't touch any of this. As far as correction, I'm not going to touch that. Vint uh, vignette, I'm not really going to, you know, add any vignetting in this. It, it will look good, but it might not look good on all the clips. So we don't want to mess with the vignette in here. All right, so this is where we add so far. Okay. Okay, look at all that. That's that lighting is good there. I, lo I love the lighting. So here we go, making it look retro. Okay, we go back to creative here, add some fade. Okay, and I want to go to what's that? I was, I was trying to do something. Not this right here. Okay, yeah. The curves, um, what do I want to touch on here? Really? Probably the white. Let me bring this back here. Let me see. I like that. Okay, so let me move around and see how this looks. It's looking more greenish, but we'll address that. We are going to address that. As you can see, it's too much saturation in the skin there. I guess it's because of this right here, what we did here. I love that there and then we'll go back to saturation on the basic go down ninety five and then go back up here on the temperature okay that's looking kind of red retro ish to my eye i love that it's looking retro ish retro ish if that's a word so now i think i'm i think i'm pleased with this i just feel like the highlights are too much okay so let me see I need to be able to see the, the numbers here. See, we're trying to get it off from being overexposed. Yeah, that's good ish. We'll leave that there. Go down on the highlights. Shadows. Okay, that's good there. Okay, so I like this look here. My only thing is I need to now go in the individual clips and try and uh, mess up, mess around a bit. Hold on. Okay, so we went from here. We went from here. 
to here. Not bad, not bad. From here to here. Here to here. Not bad. So let me see. Okay. Hold on. Give me one second here. I don't know. I like that green um, shadow looking. How the shadows look more greenish. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think I love this look. Yeah, this is it, guys. So this is the grade, guys. This is the grade. Yeah, 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 this is it. I'm done here. I'll leave it like this. This looks retro to me. Okay, this looks retro. I love this. So we'll leave it like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this and um, export it for you guys as a lot stranger things lot there we go save that so you can download this lot in the description below guys description below so what i want to do now from here like i t like i always tell you guys you now have to go to the individual clips and work on them okay you have to go there and work on the highlights and all this stuff that you want to change in those clips. As far as this clip, you might want to add some color. As far as this clip, I'll probably just leave this as is. Though, let me see. It's too... Um, the highlights are too much there. You might want to bring them down some. Bring down the whites. Yeah, that's good. I think this one too. We might have to bring down the whites. Okay, that's good. This one looks like it's underexposed. Dude, this looks retro as F. So, see, that's too much. That's probably from the window. So, what you do here is bring down the whites bring down the highlights uh, this is we need some light here on the shadows we're lifting it up from the bottom see that we can go dark but no I think kind of like that is good I think I like that there yeah that's good and here, uh, this is, I think this is good. This is good. Kind of maybe just want to bring up the ducks. Bring up the shadows a little bit there. As far as the highlights, I think it's, we're good here. We're good here. We go to this one. She's too underexposed, see that? Not, yeah, it's too much on the bottom there. So I have to bring those shadows up some. And then the blacks up some. I oh, will leave the blacks down there. It's too much. We don't wanna mess it up. Okay, I think for this one, we need to bring up, um, we need to put some more light in this clip. Okay. Let me see another angle of shorty. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let me see. Let me bring up, let me lighten up the mood here a little bit. Bow, bow. Yeah, that's beautiful right there. And then here, this is... Whoa, that arm. Um... 
bring down the white sum here. Okay. It's beautiful. Add some color. Go here. Underexposed. Go up some. Probably right there. Bring this down some. Let me see with the shadows. Probably right there is good. <clears throat> and for our main clip, it's too, too much, too overexposed. Probably let's go down some like that. Whites. Bow. That's it. And for this one, as you can see, it's too much. Highlights down. Whites right there. Add some little bit of color. Okay, for this one, I think this is good for now. This one, good for now. This one, good for now. That one, that's good. This one, need some light there. We need to lighten up the mood. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, this looks retro as F, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That looks like 1980. So, this is it. We went from this to this, okay? We went from this to this. I think it's pretty good. If you guys like this lot, make sure you download it below in the description. And um, that's it, guys. That's it. As always, you can change the opacity of the lot when you get it. Okay, all you gotta do is go in the settings, um, in the effect settings and uh, effects control and adjust the occupancy of of the lot in that case so over here occupancy you can adjust to take off take it off or to add it or to put it on 50 percent or 60 68 whatever you want to do but I'll, when you get it it's going to be on 100 so thank you for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope it was useful and i hope you use this slot cheers guys let me know uh what you think in the comments below